At section one, what we have got is that 20 mm diameter bars in two numbers. So these two 20 mm diameter bars and 16 mm diameter bars in three numbers. That is one, two, and three numbers of 16 mm diameter bars. And at the bottom, what do we have? We have got 20 number of bars that two in numbers, one and two, and 16 mm diameter bars, one in number, that is this middle one, okay? At section one one, that is at the edge, we got this detail, right? And at the mid portion, what do we have? We have got 20 mm bars in two numbers, and at the bottom, we got 20 mm diameter bars, two numbers, and 16 mm diameter bar in one number, and 20 mm diameter bars in two numbers right so this beam and this beam they are same but the detailing is different like you got 16 mm bars three numbers but you don't have anything at the mid portion so it means that while these bar travel from the edge up to the mid portion they are curtailed before they reach at the mid portion or at the section 2 2 you know i hope you can understand this thing right and again at the bottom you see that you got only 20 mm diameter bars in two numbers and 16 mm diameter bars in one number but here you can see that 20 mm diameter bar in two numbers are extra so it means that these two bars over here that is these two bars over here they do not go up to the edge so they are only at the mid portion or at the section 2 2 right okay so section uh, 1 11 11 and section 12 12 okay so another thing that you have to see from the detail is that the depth of the beam okay so here you can see that beam b6 the depth is 400 mm and the width is 230 mm and similarly uh, beam b5 if you take uh, beam b5 you can see that the reinforcement details are different and also the depth is 450 mm and width is 230 mm okay so this is the reason that these two beams have been marked differently right we got top extra bars at the edge and we got bottom extra bars at the mid portion okay so top extra bars are at the edge are provided in order to counter the negative movement okay so if we uh, so suppose uh, let you i'll show you okay ortho mode right so this is your axis and uh, let us uh, draw this okay right this is the length axis and this is the movement axis okay i need to draw the curve so uh okay so i'll take this spline is yes, i'll take this spline option and you know that uh, the movement uh, goes like okay so let's turn off the ortho mode goes like uh, this right goes like this okay, so let us terminate it over like this okay so you can see that uh, so this is your one column and this is your another column and and this is your beam okay so you can see that you got negative movement at the supports and you got uh, you got positive movement at the mid portion and the, this movement is the value is very high so that is why you provide extra bars at the mid portion and you provide extra bars at the s as well okay